Hello crafty friends, this is Amanda with Crafting with Amanda and today is day three of 30 days of sketches and here's the layout that I'm doing and here's the sketch for um, day three and I am using photos from my mom from the 50s and 60s and so I found these photos that were kind of all December of 61. Um, I have a container of photos that has like seven of those photo plastic, you know, smaller units in them. So I just grabbed one randomly and I sorted them by date. Thankfully, most of the photos that were in there had little dates printed on the outside edge. It's kind of nice. So I have these 21 page, um, single page kind of base units I'll call them from a workshop that I did years ago with the magic paper from close to my heart I am a close to my heart maker just want to put that out there so that you're not surprised that most of my stuff is close to my heart so I found these four photos from my mom's sets of photos and I'm doing this heritage album and I chose these layouts that were previously done kind of to use as base pages because I didn't think that the colors would overwhelm the photos. So a lot of them are black, some of them are sepia, but not truly. And so I was just trying to use the sketch, use the papers that I have. You can see that that was a scrap piece of paper of the old colonial white card stock, which I absolutely love from close to my heart. So I'm just cutting off a half inch um, wedge, I guess. It's not even a wedge. It's like two strips of the outside edge so that I can make a border around two sides of this layout and then with our sketch I'm taking this whole sheet and you kind of just offset it down a base page and I chose to use um, toffee as my base page color and then I just outlined I brought the whole paper down and, and outlined where the edges of that green paper would be hope this makes sense so that I could go ahead and add my stenciling and I'm not gonna make you um, watch me do my stenciling in real time. I've sped this up like um, by 555% and so I'm just using um, again the toffee ink with this stencil from Close to My Heart. It's in their core book and I thought that that just it gave it it, it met the prompt of using stencils because we had these 30 days of sketches and then um, oh I can't wild belt flare came up with these prompts to add to them as an extra challenge and today's was stencils so I got the stencil challenge in there and I might have the wrong name I apologize um, and so on my Cricut I cut the title life with father because on this sketch you can see in the left hand side it has a really long title it's fabulous so I did life with father because there was a little post a note on the back of a couple of these photos that said um, the high school play fall of 1961 life with father the role my mom had and then it also said that um, mom stole the show so um, I included all that in journaling that you'll see later on so what I did here is I went ahead and used my liquid glue on the back of all of the letters from the Cricut but before I took them off of the mat I think you saw that I used painters tape to hold all the letters with the same spacing peeled them off added the glue and then I could move them almost like a if you've done any vinyl it's just using it like a transfer tape so here I've again gone into my supplies of stash and embellishments and I found these stars and some of them are actually in the colonial white cardstock which is the same cardstock that I use to edge the back of the green piece so I was very excited about that. So here I'm going to use the corkboard shapes that there's just a couple of those. And I'm doing um, my three little embellishments. I don't know that I'm going to have a companion page to this. So um, I'm just kind of making this as a single standalone page. And I use my blocks to hold the wooden stars onto the page just to give them a little bit of extra weight to hold them down until the glue dried. So now I'm going to go ahead and use my pickup tool, which I absolutely love, and I'm putting some bright gold sequins because I just, I feel for heritage pages that, I don't know, if you do too much with the embellishments, they overwhelm the, the old photos because they're just not the bright, vivid that we're used to. 
So I printed my journaling on strips and cut it apart and it says what I had mentioned before. Uh, one of the photos is from a particular church hall and then the other three are the high school show did this and what role my mom played in that she stole the show. So I think I'm done with this other than the title was not standing out for me enough. So I went ahead and grabbed the journaling pen from close to my heart and I did just fake faux stitches and that's what I'm doing here is the last edge. I used my T ruler to just make faux stitching around the edge and here soon with the close up you'll see, maybe you can't, that I did faux stitching also over that title. You can catch up with me in these places, crafty for manda on Instagram and I do have a VIP uh, group, customer group on Facebook. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, you can do that now. And here's another video that you may like. Have a great day. Blessings.